<laughs> I'm going to pray for you this morning because I believe that God wants to bring an even greater boldness on this house. You're going to be manifesting Mark chapter 16. These signs will follow them that believe. Not believers will follow these signs. We've been chasing signs and signs should be chasing us. Come on. What does it say? It says you'll cast out devils. We've got to get bolder. You'll speak in new tongues. You'll take up serpents. That does not mean snake handling. In the Greek, it literally means you'll take up and dispose of Satan himself. You'll drink anything deadly and it will not harm you. That's the prayer my husband prays when I cook. Okay. <laughs> says, you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Come on, we're coming into a whole new season of the supernatural. And we're just going to have to be bolder, guys. We're going to have to be bolder. God wants to do more miracles outside the church than inside the church. And it's not because none are being done inside the church. It's just that because you've multiplied and gone out into the highways and the byways and found people that need prayer, and you're going to just do it. You're going to do the Acts chapter 3 thing. You're going to say, hey, look at me. Listen, I don't have anything to give you in my flesh, but I do have something to give you in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. In the name of Jesus, be set free. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, your child is being loose. In the name of Jesus, I'm breaking the stronghold off of you your life. We've got to actually believe what we believe we believe. So I want everybody to stand up. <laughs> it's so easy to preach here, but I'm going to have mercy on you. How many recognize a new season of power? Listen, we're going to have to not be afraid to cast out devils. We're going to have to have wisdom to understand it, but we can't be afraid to, to do it. We have deliverance teams in our church. We've had them for 23 years now. We started them. They, they, they minister to people every week. The other churches in our area bring their demonized people to us because they don't know what to do with them. You probably experience the same thing, okay? This kid's demonized. Can you bring cast the devil out of him? We go, yeah, sure. Let me, let's train you. They go, no, we don't want to be trained. <sighs> okay, we'll cast the devil out anyway. The night that we launched deliverance teams, our leader that was responsible for that got up and taught on deliverance, caught up, taught on casting out devils, taught on the fact that even believers could be affected by demons. Can you imagine that? And she had teams trained, ready to go that night. So when she invited people, she said, I want you to come forward and just get prayed for. Nobody moved. Everybody's like, well, what is this deliverance stuff? Except this one little lady started walking up the center aisle. We'd never seen her before. She looked like she was probably 80 years old. She looked, she looked pretty old. Sorry if you're 80. I'm sure you don't look that old. 80's <laughs> getting younger and younger, okay? <laughs> the older I get, the younger it gets, okay? <laughs> she started walking up the center aisle. And she came to the front. And she came to the leader that had just preached. And she leaned forward to whisper to the leader... And when she leaned forward to whisper, she spoke directly into her lapel mic, not knowing everybody else was going to hear what she said. And what she said was, I need prayer, but please don't try to cast any demons out of me because I'm a believer and believers can't have demons. I've pretty much found that believers can have anything they want. And so our leader didn't argue with the lady. She just said, okay. And she laid her hands on this little old lady. The whole congregation had heard her say what she said. <laughs> Pastor Sharon laid hands on her. And she said, Father, I just bless my sister. By the power of the Holy Spirit right now, 
I just prayed for her. And I command that spirit of death that's trying to take her out. I command it to come out of her in Jesus' name. And that little lady, I kid you not, she's standing like right around there. She flew backwards through the air to about the fourth row and hit the ground. Y'all know catchers? The catchers were still coming up. They were like. So they ran over to the aisle and they started picking her up. And as they're picking her up off the ground, this little old lady, this little frail looking lady just slammed to the ground. As they're picking her up, this voice comes out of her and says, you can't have her, she's mine. And that's what our church did. Ooh. Everybody say power. So they went and they cast that spirit out of that woman. She got up. She went to the back of the church. Her husband took her and they went home. We'd never seen her before. We thought, well, we'll probably never see her again. But she did. She came back about a month later. And she said, let me tell you what happened. I was turned loose from Mayo Clinic. I was driving home to my home in Pensacola because I have cancer. I had cancer all the way through my body. It was in my brain. It was in my lungs. It was through my whole body. Doctors gave me less than 30 days to live. They sent me home to die. And as we were driving home, we happened to pass this church that had a a parking lot full of cars at about 10.30 at night on a Friday night. And I said to my husband, let's turn in there. I just feel like I need somebody to pray for me. She walked in the back door of the church and walked straight down the aisle. Not only did she get set free from a demon of death, but every single cell of cancer was eradicated out of her body. She didn't die in 30 days. She died eight years later. And when she died, she did not die of cancer. Come on. Come on. God is looking for a church. God is looking for an ecclesia that is filled with the Holy Ghost and then willing to go out. So lift your hands all over this place. Father, I thank you, God, for a baptism of power, a baptism of fire, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, Father God, that is going to send us out emboldened, that is going to send us out equipped, that is going to send us out fearless, oh God, to accomplish your works in the midst of the earth. I bless Fresh Start Church. I bless this house, oh God, to be a fire starter house and to be an upper room that changes the nation, to be a dynamo, oh God, that generates power, that will produce power, that will send power out, God, to power other churches, other leaders, other nations, God. Lord, let the dynamo turn. Let the dynamo turn and let it produce Holy Ghost power. In Jesus' name, give the Lord a shout of praise.